Today, we're gonna to be showing you two different methods to tying your bow tie. Hi, I'm Leah from Rampley & Co. And today I'm joined by Mikael, founder of La Boutique and author of Modern Black Tie. Hi, Mikael. Hello, Leigh. So traditionally, it's quite tricky to tie a bow tie, but today you're gonna to show us two methods. Yes, we'll start with the traditional one around the neck and I'll show you one afterwards that I came up with myself. So I'm going to start by telling you that it's not as hard as it looks. It's exactly the same as tying your laces, just on your neck. So the first, the first part is going to be having the correct length for your bow tie. Because a bow tie that's too long is going to look completely off center and one that's too short is going to be too hard to tie. So you want your bow tie to have one end longer than the other one and you want the longer end to come over where the shape of the shorter one changes and the longer one you would have about two inches of ease. So that's to help you to create the knot. So once you're at this part, you just create a simple knot and you make sure it is tight around the neck. So that's really important because that's going to help you making it easier. So once you're here, you're going to take the longer part and put it on top of the shoulder. And then you're going to take the shorter one and you're going to fold it just so it's perfectly symmetrical. So that's the reason why you want the longer part to be crossing where the shape changes. So when you do the front of your bow tie, which is this part, it is completely symmetrical. Then the second part, you're going to take the longer one and put it over and you're going to make sure that this band here is completely flat. Then comes the hardest part. So, a very a, a much easier way to do it than what you must have seen online is to fold your wings forward and to make sure you have enough space at the back where the whole of the bow tie is going to go through. So that's really important and that's why you want it really tight at the start because that helps you having more space. So once you're here, you're going to put your finger in the middle of the longer part and you're going to push it through where you've made that gap, like so. Uh, here we are. So that's kind of went through. So then what you need to do is you need to keep hold of this side here on the left, and you're going to put your finger through that loop here, uh, while pulling it like so. So basically your bow tie, your knot is done. So now it's going to be the adjusting part. So you're going to put the wings flat again. You're going to make sure this middle part here is completely flat. Then you're going to take both loops and you're going to tighten them. Just like your laces when you finish tightening them. And then you're going to pull the end, pull the end at the back as well. Take the loops again, tighten them a bit more. Pull the ends, pull the ends, puff it up to give it a bit of volume. And then your bow tie is done. So does it matter which way you cross them to tie? No, it's exactly the same end result. So it just depends if you're right-handed or left-handed. So if you're left-handed, you'd have to do it the other way around that I did it. <laughs> and if you do it a little bit too tight, there's obviously room for adjustment. Yes, so it's better to start too tight. What you can do, so there's two different things you can do. You can, you can actually tighten it from the back by pulling the band. And basically, if you look at the knot here, it's going to tighten that knot, which also gives you a bit more space around the neck. And the other thing that you can do is, because uh, even if the bow that I make are self-tied, you, you can also clip them, so you get the best of both worlds. And you can just adjust the length with the adjuster here and then just make sure you clip it and that it's tight enough so the bow tie doesn't fall down. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So now, Mikael, you're going to show us how to tie bow ties your own way. Yes. So there's another technique that I came up with, so I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing, take the bow tie off. So just like your laces again, just take the ends and you just pull it. If you've worn self-tie bow ties before, it might have happened to you at parties, people just pulling the ends of bow ties. <laughs> so, 
The way that I have to tie it is actually the way that I use when I ship bowties to my customers. I always, I always tie them beforehand so people know what they look like once they're tied correctly. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to have the lens at almost maximum, especially for me, for my size, and I actually tie it around my leg. So I find it much easier because it's actually exactly the same as tying your laces, so the visuals are much easier than around your neck. So it's going to be exactly the same knot as the one around the neck, but around the leg. So you want the same proportions again. You want the longer end to cross where the shape changes on the smaller one. Make the shape of your bow tie. So that's your first loop when you do your laces. Then you come over. And then you're going to do exactly the same technique of folding the wings forward making sure you have space. You can fold the bow ties before and put it through the gap at the back, straighten the wings, make sure the band is flat at the front, tighten the loops, making sure everything is symmetrical. And once it looks exactly like you want it to look, you tighten from the back. and then clip it, adjust it to the lens, and you have a perfectly tied bow tie. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.